Okay, just a little bit. Just a quick intro here to block ciphers. Um, the idea here, again, keep in mind it's like a code book, right? But we're not going to use words you know, or phrases or something like that. We're going to use bits. So we're going to take a block of bits, look it up in our code book, get the corresponding block of bits that comes out. Those blocks will be of the same size, input and output, so it's a fixed sized block. How big are the blocks? Uh, you know, 64 bits, some block ciphers, 128 bits, 256 bits, so it varies. We'll probably just say 64 bits to have a number. Uh, we generate the ciphertext from the plain text and the key by taking a relatively simple function and iterating it several times. Okay, so that function that we iterate, we call it a round function. Not for its shape, for the fact that we go through a bunch of rounds. Okay. Um, and these things are really designed to be implemented in software, okay, as opposed to the, to the uh, stream ciphers we talked about. Okay, I want to mention this, this will be uh, the last thing we'll cover here, the idea of a Feistel cipher. Now, um, the Feistel cipher is not a specific block cipher. Okay, it's not like RC4, it's not like A51, it's not a particular cipher. Instead, it's a general way to build a block cipher. Okay, it's an approach to building a block cipher. All right? <coughs> And it was named after a person. Can you guess who that person was? No, it was Mr. Seifer. Yeah, Feistel. Okay, there was a guy named uh, Feistel who worked for IBM, whose name I to mention in a minute here. Okay, so we take the plain text, we split it in half. Okay, so let's just to have a number, let's suppose that the plain text block is 64 bits. So we split it in two. We have a 32-bit left half and a 32-bit right half. Okay, the initial plain text, we'll call that L0 and R0. Okay, now we go through some number of rounds and we do the following, uh, following step. Wow, that looks kind of complicated, but if you say it in words, it's not so bad. What this is saying is the new left half is equal to the old right half, exactly. The new right half is equal to the old left half XOR with a function of the old right half and the key. Okay? Uh, this is the round function that we mentioned. Okay, you do this n times, and what you end up with is LN and RN, and you call that ciphertext. Okay, great, we can encrypt. But of course, it's always important to know that you can decrypt. <laughs> so if we know the key and we know the ciphertext, can we get back the plain text? What do you think? It would be nice to know that. Okay. Well, again, this all works because of the magic of the XOR. Okay, that's what allows us to run this process backwards. You can actually solve for this guy. Okay, just take this guy over to the other side, right? Take this guy over here, just because you got an XOR, that's easy to do. These two, it doesn't matter. You turn those two guys around. You can write it so you can run it backwards. It's not hard to solve. If you do that, you get something like this. The, new right, the previous right half is equal to the old left half, and the previous right half is equal to the current right half, so on. So, okay. Um, and you can run it backwards to get the uh, plain text, L0, R0. Now, um, okay, so this again is just kind of a general approach, right? <coughs> The security of this thing is all going to depend on <coughs> your choice of round function. Okay. Now it works. Formally it works, right, for any round function you put in there, but it's only going to be secure for certain functions and not for others. Here's a function. Let's use this as my round function. I propose we use the function f equals zero. Okay. What do you think? Is that a good choice here? Can we encrypt? Can we decrypt? Yeah, it all works. All the math works. But what's your ciphertext look like? Looks like your plain text, right? You just swap the halves back and forth and you get to the end and there you go. So it's not a good, it's not going to be uh, I can't believe it's 2.5. Uh, okay, so I'm just getting warmed up here. Not going to be